Hello there and welcome to another instructional video brought to you by ZappySys. In this video we're going to see how using a custom component called Upsert can make life so much easier and faster when it comes to putting data into a target database in SSIS. This is a custom component you'll be able to use after downloading the ZappySys SSIS Power Pack, which you can do right from the zappysys.com website and going to the downloads page. And I'll be sure to put a link in the description below. And what do I mean when I say upsert? I'm referring to an instance where you have data from some source and you're trying to put it into a target. And if there's any records that match, you want to update the target with the new data. If there's data in the source that doesn't already exist, we want to go ahead and insert that. So to illustrate this, I have a package in Visual Studio, and then I have a SQL Server Studio on the right to show you how it works in real time. So I'm getting some new data using this little custom widget that you tell it how many rows you want, and I'll go ahead and turn this up to 10,000 rows and you give it some parameters and data types and it'll spit out a new data set. And I have my existing data in a little database called test and I have a table called upsert slow. So right now I think I have 5,000 rows. Yep, in this, in this table. So we're gonna get a new 10,000 rows. We're gonna sort them, we're gonna put them together and for any rows that don't exist, add them. For any rows that already exist, update them. And let's see how long this takes. So I'm just gonna kick it off. It's gonna churn through the data. When it's done, we should have 10,000 rows in our table. It's still working. It's still working. And there we go, it's done. So over here, yep, now I have 10,000 rows. That's great, but wow, this took forever, 27 seconds. That is a long time, and we're only talking about 10,000 rows here. So imagine if you had millions of rows. That's just not gonna work. So I'm gonna hop back over here. I'm gonna copy This data flow. I'm going to turn this one off and then let's call this one Upsert Fast. The Zappy Sys method. So I'm just going to go back in here and I'm going to delete all of these steps. And the only step I'm going to add is the Zappy Sys Upsert custom component. And notice all these ZS prefixes, those are all custom components you'll get with the Power Pack. So I'm gonna go through this kind of fast and then we're gonna go back and look at some of the features. So I'm gonna leave it as Upsert. I'm gonna say my target is my test database. I'm gonna make a new table though. And I'm gonna call this one Upsert Fast. And it's gonna say, okay, I found some columns from the source. I'm gonna make them in the target. That sounds great. I'm gonna say the order ID is the key. And I'm just gonna say, okay. It's gonna say, hey, there's no index. Do you want me to make one? Sure, that'll make it faster, do that. And now, before I run it, there's nothing in this. It just created the table, no rows. Now I'm gonna run this package. Boom, it's already done. 10,000 rows. 10,000 rows in my target. And that only took one second. That's how fast and easy to use the Zappy Sys Upsert component is. And that's what I wanted to show you. I wanna show you some other things too, but if you notice anything, notice how fast it is compared to the native operations. Okay, so I kinda of breezed through that Let's look at some of the configuration of what you what else you can do with the upsert component. So I picked upsert. You can do sync, we're gonna come back to that. You can do bulk delete. So anytime there's records that match in the target, they just get deleted. You can also do bulk update. So bulk update is gonna be the same as upsert, it just won't insert any new records into the target. 
So let's just show you this bulk delete feature. So it says, hey, be careful. You're picking the delete option. This is going to delete records from your database. Yep, that's cool. I'm going to do that. And the only thing it needs to match is the key. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to run this. It's already done, 10,000 records. And over here, all those rows are going to be gone. Super easy. So let's come back in here. Let's add some records again. We have our rows again. And now I want to show you that sync option. So now let's look at the sync option. And the sync is going to say, I'm going to take all the rows from my source and compare it to the target. If it exists in the target, I'm going to update them. If it doesn't exist in the target, or there's something else that exists in the target that's not in the source, I'm going to delete that row. So we can actually change this to, let's say, 3,000. That way we know we should only end up with those same 3,000 records in our target. So we'll say sync. And remember, you have, to you have to click this option to say delete from the target if it's not found. So we're going to say OK. And we're going to run it. And now we have 3,000 rows. So 7,000 of these rows are now gone. OK, cool. Those are the different actions you can use with the upsert component. You might have also noticed a couple more tabs in the component, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about those as well. So in this component, you had this advanced tab. So suppose you wanted to drop a table or drop an index before you run this, or you wanted to create an index or a table afterwards, or suppose you have multiple rows in your source data for the same key. This will tell the component, which data should I use to keep? Should I keep the first time I come across it or the last time I come across it? These are some handy features on the advanced tab. And then one more tab is this auditing outputs tab. And this is pretty cool. So I'm going to close it. And you'll notice these two arrows, the blue and the red arrows. The red is for errors. The blue is for inserts and updates. So I'm going to drag this little trash destination, and I'm actually going to drag another one. So let's connect this blue arrow, and it's going to say, hey, what do you want to do with this output? Do you want new records, deleted, or updated? I'm going to say, I want the new records. And then I'm going to drag another blue record, blue arrow, and I'm going to say, I want the updated records. So let's go back in to our component, and let's just change it to upsert. So we're inserting or updating records. And I'm going to change our new data to be 10,000. So we already have 3,000 rows in our data. We're going to update an existing 3,000, and we're going to insert another 7,000. These are ways to audit. If you needed to keep a history of what's being inserted or updated, you can use these components for that. You might have noticed you could even save this data to a text file. So if you needed to keep a history of this, you can use this feature. Or maybe you want to write it to a table. I'm going to click Start. And now we can monitor how many records were new and how many were updated. And over here in our table, we have our 10,000 rows. And don't forget, this only took 1.29 seconds, but that's using these auditing features. So if you wanted to run even just a little bit faster, we can delete these. Suppose you don't need to keep a record of the auditing. You can turn this off. And now when you run it for your 10,000 rows, it's now down to under one second. So it's going to run even that much faster if you're not worried about the auditing. So that's really it. Hopefully you saw how easy it is to use the custom ZappySys upsert component, how flexible it is, and how much faster it is than native operations in SSIS. 
If you want to give it a try, but you haven't already downloaded the Zappisys SSIS Power Pack, go ahead and do that now. And don't forget, the link is in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Zappisys YouTube channel for more updates and SSIS tips and tricks in the future. <laughs>